What's up, guys? Uh, yeah, I should probably uh, shave my face. Pretty bad. Let's just uh, do that right now. Much better. <laughs> I don't know if I can take myself seriously with a handlebar mustache. This is not even a handlebar mustache. This is like a disgrace to all moustaches. Well, for the time being, Adobe released something for After Effects. It's called Content Aware. And what Content Aware was for Photoshop was where you can mask around something, use Content Aware, and take something out of the photo, like a person, an object, whatever it may be. But they released Content Aware for After Effects. You can remove objects from a video. What in the actual f oh. like, What? Let's, dude, this is freaking game changing. This is, just blows my mind. Let's, uh, let's just start editing. Check, 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 one, two, check. Wow, attractive look. By the way, I'd like to point out that I have shaving cream still on my ear. Nice. All right, so what? Uh, What's up? Yeah, this thing is getting shaved off tonight, by the way. Yeah. Let's head into After Effects. And what you're gonna notice new about Content Aware Fill is it's gonna be on this right side over here, kind of below Tracker. If you do not have that selected, go up to Window and select Content Aware Fill. And I'm assuming that you have the 2019 After Effects to be able to do this. So let's get to it. What you're gonna wanna do is take your clip from your project panel, drag it down, make a composition, and trim it, and just make a workspace to get started. So first things first, with our clip here, we want to mask around that log. Just a quick, easy mask. And we're gonna wanna invert it and click None so we can kinda see what we're working with. I'm gonna go up and grab the pen tool just to kinda work with this mask. And I'm gonna kinda adjust it the thing with content aware is when you're masking the object that you want to content aware out of the video, you want to make sure that your mask is like pretty much perfect or else you're gonna kind of get a messed up content aware fill when it removes it. You wanna do your best, but don't half-ass it basically is what I'm getting at. Zoom in on your project and what we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe this mask because obviously videos move unless you have it on a tripod. If it's on a tripod, then great. You don't even have to really do much. Yeah, we're gonna mask this path and about every 10 frames, I'm just going to adjust where this mask is around the log. I do like 10 to 20 frames. It's kind of whatever your preference is. Just don't make it really far away, like something similar to this. You can mask that and it will track it as the camera moves. I just like to be on the safe side and then I'll go basically 10 frames by 10 frames. Now, once you're done keyframing everything, you kind of just want to play it through and see how well your mask does. Hops around a little bit, but I think the content aware should still work. Um, you wanna go back down here and select add. And then once you're done with that, you have your content aware fill on the right hand side. You want to just leave it on object and do your work area. That's this right here. This is the work area. Make sure you're in the work area and then you just say generate fill layer and wait and let the little magical creatures inside After Effects do whatever they do because it's insane i don't know how you did it adobe after you generate your fill layer it is now kind of removed that log from the scene it's a little blurry and you can try to remask it again and do a little bit better job but it just removed that log like what how how i mean it's a little blurry in here just uh from the program trying to substitute other things to put in its place all in all if it was not so close up and just out on like a regular screen, you probably wouldn't even notice it. But like I said, if you mask it a little bit better and get pretty close and then generate your fill layer, it will end up turning out something kind of like this right here, where you don't even notice it whatsoever. Like what? I keyframed it just like I did in the other one. This one did a little bit better. You can try it a couple times until it it kind of, it's the program basically putting the frames in the position of that magical 
creatureness things on bicycles behind the program. I have no idea what happens, but basically taking frames from taking parts of other pieces and putting them in that puzzle to make it disappear, just like Photoshop. Here's another one that I did where I actually removed my doge. So you can see Logan comes in here on the, the right side. You can see his shadow right here. I removed his entire shadow and I also removed the dog. What? With the mask, what I did, um, I will kind of show you the mask, give you an idea of what it looks like. I went 10 frame by 10 frames and just made sure the shadow was all in the, the mask. I made sure the dog was in the mask. I wasn't super perfect with it, like getting down to the edges of everything, but it still did a sweet job and it removed the dog. Like, how, how does it remove? It's crazy how it works. I'm just blown away that that's actually a thing now. Uh, I don't see me using it very often. I'm, maybe, unless you want to remove like people from your shot, like you had a sweet waterfall shot, whatever it may be, where there's just a lot of traffic of people or cars even, you can probably remove cars. Here's another one just for the heck of it. It wasn't the best, but what I did is I went through and I basically masked around our buddy Tracy from our last hunting trip and I kind of kept close edges. I didn't make it super perfect, but this is really a really small clip to give content aware a lot of information to replace him. I mean, it can grab a little bit from right here in front of him as it plays forward. And then it can also grab a little bit from on the other side of him. And all in all, this is what ended up coming out of it. removed a person dude a person a person it's not the best it's not the best and if i gave it more information it would probably do a lot better if it was not a slow motion clip it had just a little bit more information of him walking down that road to be able to take everything and analyze it better and really remove him like fluent just make it re look really nice right around here it actually doesn't look so bad it, it's a little blurry and you can tell that there's like some artifacting and stuff down here and it's kind of you can see the trace and the outline but i mean if you're playing it through you might not be able to catch it until like right here see how like the circle and it's all blurry i mean it's still it's okay i probably still wouldn't use it i would probably make this I would make this clip a lot longer just to give it a little bit more data to go through and analyze when you're masking around him. But you literally removed a person. <laughs> that's that's insane to me. That's insane. I I don't understand it. That's crazy. The dog one actually worked out the best, in my opinion, when I, just because I spent a little bit more time on the masking part and there's a little bit more information, especially in the beginning when he's not really in the scene right here, it will make it really easy for the program to understand it can grab from this section. It probably just grabbed a bunch of information from around the shadow and just applied it to the scene and totally removed him. You can see I kind of messed up with a little bit of the shadows every now and then, just at the like very beginning. You could fix that, just remask it and regenerate. I hope you guys are stoked as much as I am about being able to take things out of your videos now, just like Photoshop. Hopefully you guys learned something from it. Just remember your takeaway is spend a lot of time in the masking portion of it. And when you go to generate your fill layer, it should turn out pretty good. If not, try again, see if it works. Not all clips will end up working the way you want it to, but it'll do its best. If you guys enjoyed the video, please slap that thumbs up button and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications for when I post another video. And I will love you guys forever. Peace out, guys.